So I have something. Oh, let me pin your video then. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, cool. there you go. Got your lighting in there. I got my lighting. I got my a lot more black. Than yes, I, I can tell it's nighttime now. And, uh, no, wait, can I see it again? I'm, oh, yeah, that's neat. Nice. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm okay with it. It could be. I think that actually the hawk should be bigger. He, he's not really quite the size he ought to be to, to look threatening. But yeah, but practice. Yeah, for if next he was time. Miles away, okay, but he needs to be closer to be threatening. So, but eh, the duck lives. The duck lives. That's my <laughs> story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so uh, now we're doing pipes. Yeah, we are doing urban type shapes and such. So we'll practice those a little bit before we get into our main drawing. So our all important perspective lines. There should be a place in the middle that's flat, which is our horizon line. Oh, is this, uh, are we supposed to be doing that or is this just a show? It's up to you. You can either watch and learn or you can copy along with me and have the notes. That's up to you. So this is the two point perspective approach, right? Yep, this is two point perspective. Two oh, point bye. perspective. Okay. So we have, I actually used to uh, use colored pencils to keep them a little more distinct. Let me grab a blue and an orange or a pink or something. Deep vermilion. So lines of one color should radiate as if they're coming from a clock. So it's like tick, 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 tick. And then the other side also, tick, 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 tick. in general, I didn't do it this time, but in general, we like to have one side get a small chunk, a small triangle, and then the other one a really big triangle, but I'll do that next time because I forgot this time. So we're going to be drawing some iron framework, specifically this part right here, which can get confusing if you're not sure which side is which or which side is empty, which side is positive. It can get a little bit confusing. So we're going to first draw our main cube. I shouldn't say cube because it's tall and skinny. Yeah, I love the vertical lines. They're so easy. <laughs> and then the shape is going to be separated into three, like three piled on top of each other. So I'll just roughly cut this into three following my blue lines over here, following my red lines over here, and we're just going to go ahead and thicken up all the lines on the edge. And this is going to be the side that's facing the blue lines. Whoops. And this will be the side that's facing the other direction. So they don't actually look like they're cut out yet because we don't have any thickness. So on each of these, 
I have to draw a thickness line that will be on the opposite color. So on the blue side, I'm going to be following red lines. Let's show the thickness there. red side, I'll be following the blue lines to show my thickness. And you'll notice once we pass the horizon line, it switches to the bottom rather than the top. Oops, I should make those match. Then, each of these has a diagonal bar. And the diagonal bar switches a zigzag. And it will also need a thickness. So we would follow the red lines again. Or no, I'm sorry, not the red lines, but we'd have a thickness on the top here, on the bottom here. And then this one, I don't think we would see it all, maybe a little bit on the top. For the blue thickness, thickness, mm, maybe a little bit of thickness. Yeah, I guess it would be on the bottom because we would be it would be facing us that way. Sorry about uh, that. A little bit no, confusing there. No, it has there. to be on the top. Well, on the top. How could it possibly be on the bottom? Because we're kind of where the horizon is with our eye. So our well, eye the is horizon is down. up here, and it was just a cube. It's being cut out this way. Right? And then we'd see that thickness there, that thickness there. No, well, maybe we don't see any thickness. We wouldn't see much, but I think it would be on the top. What you, saw, you think it would be it on the top? Be I'm thin, thin, it would be on the bottom. But, but the reason I think it would be on the bottom is because it's facing that way. Well, so I'm using it like this side, this side. Well, that what is very do? tricky. That particular. That is very tricky. What did they do? Oh, they avoided it altogether and made those. They faked um, it up. <laughs> yeah, on this one, it doesn't have any thickness. It just made it round. Okay, we'll do that too. That, I just had myself and thought they were all square. <laughs> round. Solve that problem. That is very iffy, though. Yeah, that's it. I was, kind of I was wondering why we were drawing it like this. Mm -hmm.
Hey, Betsy. Yep. You were right. It is hard to draw with a dog in my lap. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah, she's Making just. Tough. Uh, oh, you can't see her very well from this angle, but she's there. Yeah. We can see she was still there. Yeah. Yeah. So on mine, from what we did last week, I don't have that much room to fill. We might actually go ahead and draw on our characters first. And then see what's left to fill in in the back. There's no point in filling this all up if my character goes there and covers everything up later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's do a couple of thumbnails. That's what we can do in our other three squares. Try out some stories. So story being what is happening in the original picture. Looks kind of sad. I assume that's not yours, right? No, we're uh, using an artist's work called Mako on Instagram. It has a lot of great story art. Yeah. Do you have an Instagram? Me? Yeah. Betsy drawing stuff. Uh, cool. So I'm thinking these two are probably siblings since their age difference isn't big enough to be mother and daughter. So it looks more like sisters. They could be two just random kids on the street, but that's in my, you know, in my head, that's the story there. But other than that, we don't have a whole lot of information as to why they're feeling this way or why they're doing what they're doing. So some wheel, the wheel, that wheel lying on the ground. That Something's... one I thought was a sewer cover. Oh, I guess I assumed it was a wheel because there's a bike. Oh, that is a good point. That's what we would call our grouping, huh? having our same shapes or yeah. uh, variation on theme by having the same shapes around. So I was thinking of there's a good bike and a broken bike. Yeah. But if I were doing the story and saying like, oh, big sister has to leave to boarding school or something, just having luggage. Oh, uh, yeah, that would. Yeah, that makes sense. Would kind of put in something. Or if little sister got into a fight or something, there would be dirt and holes and Yes, Maybe I was thinking hair. bike accident. Why isn't she screwed up a little more? She fell off her bike. But. Yeah, if she yeah, there was a bike that fell down or something like that. Then yeah, then we could figure out what was going on. But this artist, I think this was what it was for. Um, she was doing this for Inktober or he. I don't even know if it's a man or woman. Um, so I don't know that they put a whole lot of thought into the story, but we want to because this is story art. So since we have our vertical. We have our ramp. I'm not going to draw everything. I'm just going to say we've got ramp. We've got stairs. I don't think we can fit anything on the stairs, honestly. So we basically got that set up. What is happening in my story? Some typical themes. Chase. Or being chased. There's, like we were talking about, a goodbye. Somebody has to leave. <laughs> Or there is, uh, what's it called? Foreshadowing, I think. Foreshadowing. Oh, I ran out of paper. Foreshadowing. Let's say there were no characters here, but we saw shadows on the wall mm -hmm. of people approaching. That would be kind of cool because we would know that somebody's coming. We don't know who, but somebody's coming. Or depending on where your light source is, if your light source is coming from this way, you can have a shadow that goes up the ramp. Oh, somebody's coming. We don't know who. So that's called foreshadowing, or at least we're going to call it foreshadowing for now. Yeah, ooh, so let's one, do one of each. Yeah, I remember one piece I saw that was really good that told the story was like, a, it was this little, like candy shop. Mm -hmm. And it was like, there's this kid and they were, looked like they were ordering for the candy shop or something. And then it's like, sort of in the side you could sort of see the other room and in the other room you could see like various children in like uh laboratory-esque uh tubes or jars or whatever oh, no. 
And it, yeah, like, that was a good storytelling one I saw. Yeah. So I've got my setup chase. And you can combine them too. Let's say I'm doing a chase and I have one person running and maybe just the shadows of the people chasing him or her. Oh yeah, that's good. So I could have shadows on the wall, usually raised arms. Oops. Make the head a little smaller, raise the arm. Hey, come back here, you! And then some kid running in the foreground here. Maybe stumbling, oh no. If they took something like Aladdin, loaf of bread. So you actually are combining the shadowing and the chase there. Yeah. Or is that an actual could, person yeah, you back that way? Or if you didn't have a shadow, you could have another figure farther away. Also running towards. A goodbye. Like I said before, if you're having a goodbye, some luggage could show that. Let's say hug. Don't go, I miss you. Some luggage there, maybe. Have a coat on, going somewhere cold. And my other foreshadowing, let's say my light source is coming from another direction and I can put my shadow on the ramp here. And then I got my stairs, something like that. Hmm. Don't like that one. I'm not gonna do that one. I think either a chase or a shadow. Hmm. I think I might reverse it. I think I'm gonna use my shadow, but we have this column right here with the pipe wrapping around it. I'm gonna have my character peeking out right there, hiding from this approaching figure. That might be fun. Are you going to research your underwater kingdom, Michaela? What? Are you going to research your underwater kingdom? Oh, yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be more... I'm, I'm probably thinking it's going to be more naturally, where where it's like the, it's made... A lot of the buildings are... Hold on. Sorry, the, the buildings are made out of coral and stuff. Ooh, that'll be fun. Yeah, look up some coral then. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Little lady, excuse me. I think I should probably also just look up underwater kingdom in general to see, like, you know, inspiration. Yep, I do that all the time. I just look up whatever I'm making.
finding some neat stuff already. Yeah. It, it's almost like the lighting is coming straight down, but the, they're under a mm -hmm. cover. So you can see the light behind them and in front of them and on top of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, lighting design gets pretty fun once you get like multiple sources and sort right. of. Right, you want to have that, that shadow that changes things, although he can be a multiple source. Had some kind of awkward blank spaces there, so I'm trying to I'm trying to think of something to put in here maybe too, or maybe that draws your eye to my character to have nothing there, and then I think I might put this something good in here then. I think that's what that sewer cover was for to kind of fill in this big triangle. Yeah, right here. yeah, it's a big blank. My my picture has some blanks too, so that's why I like that. I think I'll just put in the tile. See where's my blue line. Knock on wood. Calm down. So this um, Mako, are these mostly ink washes or watercolor? Do we even know what? Might be digital. Aha! Might be a watercolor brush because the shape that repeats, and I can't see it on camera, but there's a shape that repeats. It's pretty identical. <laughs> I'm going to guess that this one is digital. So that would be a brush stroke on the digital that just makes that little shape. Yeah. Oh, how nice. Someone get something at the door? I mean, yeah, I did. Huh. Somebody else got it for us. It was UPS or someone like that. Oh, you put bricks on that walk behind him. That looks really good. Thank you. Yeah, again, it was just I needed to fill it up with something so there isn't too much white space. Particularly since my lighting switched it so that I can't use the amount of shadows that the original did. So <laughs> I've got some pretty blank white spaces here that I might come back and put some stone texture on or something. So it, it does have a, a sad look to it. Partly that's just the shadow, but I guess all these straight lines, there's almost no curves. Yep. Pretty the bike curves. stands out and those couple little circular things do stand out, but it's mostly pointy. Yes. 
and, and squared off. I like off. also the amount of just bars that kind of resemble cage traps. Yeah. Well, we actually have time. It's only 540, probably for another quick one. Maybe not urban. Maybe we'll go back to a little bit of urban and lots of foliage. <laughs> Yeah, this I thought was a neat little story moment since it doesn't have a whole lot to it. You've got your bridge, you've got your strange creature with a guiding beacon and maybe somebody who's hurt or tired. Is this from a movie or something? No, this is just that same artist, Mako. Ah. So there aren't that many elements, but it has a pretty strong uh, story to it. So we don't have to copy this exactly. We could have... Can you even see the background? Somebody... Like can you see anything from the background, or is it just me, or is it like the background is very, very fuzzy? Yeah, it's meant to be more like a cell or an animation look, because you can see that there's lines on the characters, but nothing else. Uh, so the okay. background's like, yes. Yeah. And then everything else has a line around it, which you can actually replicate with pencil, because you can just color with tones, but it takes forever, and we don't have forever. <laughs> True. But instead of uh, copying the characters exactly, we could have somebody rushing down to meet them. We could have, you know, somebody returning home with arms spread out and little kids running toward, hey, I died so, you know. You can have monster and somebody about to battle monsters. So there's lots you can do on this bridge, but we'll go ahead and sketch out the main elements first. So I've got my square composition. You can make it different. You can make it a rectangle if you prefer. You may have already noticed this bridge takes up about one third of the composition. At least on this side, and then it's going to go down a bit on this side. There's actually a stairway there. Oh, it is. He's Look, coming. I have a little, couple little bumps here. Little archway. With some thickness on the right side and pretty thick so that we can show that the top of this, even though we can't see it, is also wide enough for somebody to easily walk across. It's a little confusing though, like perspective wise, because it, like, are we looking at it underneath? Yeah. Yeah, we're below them. Oh, okay. Because we can see the top, or at least part of the top of that arch. Mm -hmm. Okay, because when you look at the characters, it looks like you're looking at them kind of straight on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like the uh, like the underneath the bridge implies that you know you're beneath them, so uh, that's what's confusing me. And then we've got kind of a tree or something here in the foreground. I did not notice any of that. Yeah, you're not really meant to. It's not really part of the story, but it does add some depth. So I'm going to do a little more overlapping than the original picture, just because I like overlapping. Looks like there's stuff around the stairs too. Yes, there's also some greenery 
around here, which you can turn into flowers or moss or whatever you like. I have a couple of flowers or dandelions or something coming off. Then I have to decide on my story. Like I mentioned, I can do a couple of thumbnails here. Here's the bridge. So I could have troll, dragon, something guarding. You shall not pass, or our. Someone hiding under the bridge while it's like a monster is like walking on top of it. There you go. Oops, it's not that tall. You can have somebody or two people maybe hiding down here. Maybe some troops running across the top. Weapons, that's how you know they're guards. <laughs> Let me zoom in here so you can see what I'm drawing. Thank you for that. Ah. We can have a happy reunion. With somebody come up the stairs, maybe with lots of gifts, walking stick. Lots of happy rooms. Yeah, you're fine. We could also do. Somebody captured. Chained up, being led to court. We can do, oh, my love. There's some little torches or something. We can add a lake down here, put a swan. Very lovey dovey. We could, one more. That's all I have room for. <laughs> No, I can't have ideas this fast. I really just love to listen to you come up with ideas. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's, That's a good it. one. <laughs> it's mostly well, I'm just thinking of movies. See, this right here, this is uh, from Robin Hood when they're all chained up for not paying taxes. That was a scene that just sticks in my memory for as a child. Oh, yeah. And then what else do we have? Uh, what have we done? We did guarding. 
We did hiding. We did welcoming home. Being taken away. Romantic meeting. Let's do... Oh, chase. Well, we did hiding, but we didn't actually do chase, huh? Or... I want something like out of reach, but interesting. So maybe if there is something up here, maybe a branch from a tree that's off screen, and a kitty or something with wings. It's one of my favorite Looney Tunes ever, that one with the kitty with wings. And just be like, whoa, where'd you come from? Here, have a fish and be my pet. <laughs> there we go, six ideas. Let's see which ones I don't like. Love, boring. Not Did you say Wolverine? Hmm? Did you say Wolverine? No, I said the lovey dovey one is kind of boring, so I don't want to do that. I don't want to yeah. do the taking away to jail because that's depressing. Um, okay, I started it? doodling a dragon over it. Oh, you started doodling the dragon over which one? Over, um, like, you know, this, the one we're, this background we're currently doing, except ah. I, I did it weird. I don't know. I added, like, a detail, like, some detail. I don't know. This one's cute. I kind of like that one. The guard. Yeah, yeah. Mm, not feeling it right now. Dragon or something. Mm, not really feeling it right now. Mean something interesting. I kind of like that one. Nah, I think I'll do the welcoming home one. What do you yeah, that's do? my problem. Is that I have all this empty space. So much empty space. Oh, cloud! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't just stick in clouds or something like that, but I think that was a nice part of this design was this long stick so that it took up enough space that it felt like, yeah, we needed that much space up above. Yeah, it, it, there's a lot of empty space in there, but it doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. But the, it can't be all empty. But I can easily fix that if I just add something to the bridge, maybe. Maybe there's a light post right here or something. I'll have to repeat that so it looks like it's part of the design. It'll have to be on the other side, too. Then I won't have to worry so much about the characters not filling up the yeah. space. I can draw the little kids being like, yay! Let's see where the kid go. Maybe a little taller. That's cool. Then, what'd you bring me? <laughs> and he's still going to be, I think, up to, or going up the stairs. The reason why is I kind of want this feeling of going upward to continue uh -huh. so that we're not looking at the dad, we're looking at the kids. My kids, my kids. Oh, I could have done his dogs too. His dogs walking in the home would have been great. <laughs> Where's all the presents? <laughs> yeah. Gotta get a big sack of presents. Yeah. Here. There we go. There's a sack on his back there. Maybe he'll have a walking stick so we know he's been traveling a while. Or that he got injured during the war. Or he got injured, yes. There will be some flags. Ooh, used to be flagpoles instead. That'd be fun. Oh yes, that that's really nice. Yeah, I like that better. Also, they kind of point down to him, and he's pointing yeah. to them. It adds your 
your eye line. Yeah. Oh, that, that really works. Cool. Get this on. I hate this one. Man, I have to like do this, do it full screen, uh, or otherwise I have trouble seeing. Yeah. Shorter kid feels familiar. Oh, now I remember. He looks like Ling from Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, yeah, a little bit. I wasn't going for that, but I can see where the resemblance is. His hair. Oh, hey, um, before this class is over, do you think I could show you guys something I worked on? Sure. Sure. Go for it right now. What? You can do it right Let's now. see it. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me open it. I should pro- well, no, I don't have to open it yet. You can just see what I've been doing for this class. And hold on. I need to- I'm not used to doing this, so every single time I do it, it it's kind of like me trying to remember how. You'll get good. A few weeks, we'll all be zooming like pros. Yeah, I've got this is the thing, thing I was working on for the. Oh, there you go. Dragon on a bridge. Yeah, dragon's like got his hand. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Then the person down there hiding. I like it. Okay, and I have to open it because I haven't opened this in a, so recently. Hold on. It, it takes a minute for my thing to realize what I'm trying to do. Please move this window away from the shared left. Oh, who cares? I've been working on like this character design I showed you, you guys like a long time ago, back when class was actually around. Oh. This is a big class. Oh, yeah. Cute. Yeah, I also. Oh, I like the little ones. <laughs> yeah, I like the little ones down there, the leaf ears. Leaf oh, ears, yeah. yeah. I was, uh, yeah, when quarantine uh, started, I started craving orange juice and lemonade really badly, so I just made the little orange juice Aww. and lemonade characters. Yeah. Uh, and I also have a second file. Well, there are plenty of like little files of, of me just like messing around with this character design. Like trying to figure out this one is pretty primitive, uh, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, I like but... that. The face that just came in with the glasses. Yeah. 
Is that the one above? No. Yeah, she does wear glasses. Okay. And also braces. You don't see braces very often. Mm -hmm. But now, up above, she looks like a a girl. And down below, no. Now, that's a girl. That looks like a guy because of the eyebrows, I think. Oh, the eyebrows are, are kind of thick up here. Maybe it's because her bangs cover them. We didn't. Yeah, yeah you're right. Really. You can't really tell as well. Yeah, hold on. Let me. Uh... Yeah, but let back off a little so we can see them both at once. Okay, hold on. Oh. Yeah. The but one on the bottom also seems to have a pointier nose, and she has a roundier nose. So oh yeah, this is nice. just messing around, so it's like not such a sort of like. Uh... Oh, get rid of that black thing. I like the one who's flying. Oh my gosh, that one's great. Yeah. With the arms and legs hanging down. Oh, funny. I like that one. Thanks. I also have a completely separate thing because this one was getting too full. Uh, give me a moment to open it. Oh, yeah, I see. There's some more. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I figured. Like, I looked up tutorial and I figured out how to do um. What's it called? Symmetry, symmetrical drawing. Mm -hmm. that's yeah. Cool. You know, I, I just drew them sitting down. I drew go to bed, but I was so tired that I forgot to put <laughs> D in bed. I do that kind of stuff all the time. Go to be. That's a really cute character, and you do a lot of good posing with it. Thanks. Just little doodles down there. I like this Oh, one. nice. Nice. Oh, cute. I think I have, like, more. Like, even in, like, the old one, I have, like, a bunch of different, uh, just, like, me, like, trying to figure, like, exploring the character design, you know, like, figure out, like, how the wings. Oh, yes. No, like, oh, that's the good. Oh, the back yeah. view. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I like that back view. Well, I, I try to get rid of the stuff over it, but I, eh, 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 there it goes. Yes, yes. The ears are nice. Thanks, they're supposed to be heart-shaped. Yep, everything heart-shaped all over her, down her tail and tip of her tail. Okay, where's this coming from? Okay, where, what, oh, 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 bad. <laughs> I didn't like so that. So why, why do I have a big square over, a big black square? Does everybody see that? Where? Yeah, stripe on it? Yeah. Did it move? Oh, yeah. Yeah, not moved. Oh, yeah. Maybe this is, um, this is like what I see your faces. Oh, that's uh, awesome. I got it. Yeah. Make a skull wave. Okay, hold on. Let me figure out how to do that. Uh, um, I'll just put it There's over. these little things up at the top. I think if you... Yeah, that did it. Yeah, it's down, It's now down in the... I'm going to move it a little so it's not blocking things. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Thanks. Yeah, I've been yeah, messing around this character design because there's a sort of Sona. Like, it was basically like that old... Remember that old character design that was like where the character was like big and round and more like classical it was a dragon yeah Maybe the dragon awesome. like in like you know i drew like like cheer cheerleading and stuff you remember that one no yeah, but that. i like her She's i like this one yeah. About her. yeah anyway this one is just based off of that one is what i was gonna say ah uh, i see i see continuation and i've got so dark. many files so many files. Hey, she is a good character. You you may uh, work more on her because I, I like her a lot and she's got that great tail. Just got yeah. a lot of stuff to work with. Yeah, the tail in, in this one is kind of bench kind of funny, but yeah, this one is character just where I kind of just got self-indulgent. You know, I like purple, I like dragons, I like heart shapes. Yep. That's the best thing to do. That's what we're doing in our but, you know, All those stuff. repeated heart shapes really work and they, they allow you to show the contours of the tail as it twists around, which is really nice. 
Yeah, I'm thinking of maybe getting rid of them, possibly, but I don't know. I, I'm just having trouble figuring out, you know, what size slash how many should be on the body at once. Mm. Also, I really need to put her in clothes. I really want to put well, her in clothes. Yeah, but she, now she's got clothes on in this one. From Where? the back view, it looks like she's wearing a little workout outfit of some kind. Or... Where? Oh, this one? The back view. Oh, the vacuum? It's probably some of your plot lines. Like she... that one yeah, it's plot lines. Line. Those are plot lines, yeah. That looks like it could be. Yeah, yeah it looks TV. like it. I'm trying to think what those are called. Just a little workout. Like leotards or? Uh... Leotard, yeah. 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 Which allows her to be dressed and then you still get to keep her, um, the shape of her body shows a yeah, lot. Her... That's the nice thing about leotards. Whenever All I... us superheroes know that. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I think of dragons and leotards, I think of like that one dragon from that video game, Remember Betsy? Oh yeah, that one that has like a spiral or something that has all the dragons. Dragox. And... Have I shown you that, Christian? Dragox? I don't, I don't think so. Well, I will show him to you because he's fun. I think he's really funny because he has a big old Muppet face. And I will I will Google him real quick to show you just what he looks like. Hold on. This way I can see what his name Nintendo, is. Nintendo uh, Switch. What's it called? The exercise game. Um, hold on. I'll just try to search up Nintendo Dragox. And just hope it Dragox. Is that his name? Oh, it's what's his name. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there he is. Nope, that's the wrong. I don't want to shop for him. There he is, Muppet Face. You call that a Muppet Face, eh? <laughs> I'd call it a Muppet, but it reminds me more of like Monsters University. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if he opened his mouth wide, it'd be like, you know, a puppet. Well, that's true. He he does, except for the teeth, it does look like a Muppet. Yeah. He's funny. Anyway, yeah, that like when you said dragon and leotard, this is immediately what I thought of. Uh anyway. <laughs> well that he is wearing leotards, you are correct. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, yeah. So uh, this is a very fun character design to mess with. I'm, I just like messing around with it, and I feel like this is the most character exploration I've ever done on That's a character. That's birthday too. You have a lot of her. Yes, you've really played with her um, posing so much. I guess I think that's why I like her because she's so active. Oh, thanks. Yeah, but still I still think the one with the growling looks like her big brother or her dad more than her. What? The first one you showed us, it had that one face of the fat guy. He, he, he doesn't look like her, despite the glasses and the braces. I think yeah. it does, but eh, that's just me. Maybe because I'm so used to it by now. Maybe. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. I think it's... Hold on. Let me see if I can... I can, like show you a little bit from the beginning. Hold on. It takes me a second. It's gonna take me yeah, a second. All those layers. Yes, yeah, so many layers. Uh, I've got, hold on. This was one of the oh. first ones, just sort of lounging about with like a weird tail thing. Yeah. I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this one. That, I can't really tell. I've got a blanket. That is funny. Showing in a blanket. I've got. Oh yeah, there's the angry face. There's the like suspicious face. Happy. Oh, yeah. Now those faces all I immediately think they're her rather than somebody else. But the one. Mm. Yeah, these ones the eyebrows make a little more. Look a little. But more. it still looks like her for some reason. The other with that one. And just, I know, maybe it's because uh, I went a little bit off on the eyebrow shape, probably. Maybe, yeah. Here's one of her, like, just standing that I do not like. 
shapes are bad. Uh, sitting oh. on a chair. Sitting in a chair. I had a a baby. What? My buddy Esteban logged on, but I'm not sure he can hear us. <laughs> oh, he's probably like looking at the thing where it says, do you want to use your computer audio or something? Possibly. Yeah. Yeah, like angry face with the eyebrows once again. Fla like sad flying. And then- I like the sad flying a lot. Fruit animals. And we, those guys are cute. Let me see if I can, yeah. these are a lot bigger, so I don't think I need to, to zoom in. Eh. Nope, yeah, this is, nope, that, I think I should do everything in this one. Everything Ooh. worth showing. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end your screen share then. And oh, yeah, sorry. Anyway, thank you for looking. You're welcome. I'd like to see what you've been up to, especially since we haven't seen your work in quite a while. Yeah, it's really nice to see you guys. Yeah. So there's how my story art is coming along. Brilliant. It's very nice. I think I've got most of that stuff. I don't know about the tree so much. I might change that into something else, but. Maybe if I was going like, to say, yours doesn't have the same feel. It's sort of dark night. Yeah, you know? this one I think was supposed to go for moody and dark and was going for that setup, but now that I've turned it happier, I might clear all that out and like you say, happy clouds, happy sun. Well, right, it doesn't seem like there's a, that one light source that's going right back on their face. That's a little bit more like we did last time. Yeah. Two times ago with the single light source. You don't need it for... I'm also not crazy about how this shape is kind of the same shape as the guy, so I think I'll actually take that out as part of yeah I'm wanting to vary up all my shapes and not have anything that's too similar so i'm going to go ahead and take that out and we'll see how this changes things if we get rid of the trees for the most part and judging where my horizon line is probably in the middle yeah yeah because we can't see the top of that so probably in the middle it could even be higher since we're still looking up at that bridge. Yeah. Yeah, we could make it higher too. That would mean my clouds are more clustered, skinnier, smaller near the horizon line, and then bigger, puffier, farther apart at the top. Yeah, I think that'll be a better. Oh, yeah, that's better. Better composition for sure. But so we looked at that one about two weeks ago where we were trying to get all the same shapes or lots of the same shapes to the one with the tunnel yeah um well the one that was black and white and it had all these right. cross shapes and i did it with all the hooky shapes not that one that's black and white no the next one after the black and that one that one yeah we had limited our i think our leaf shapes and or triangles. All the big, uh, yeah, the big triangles all over the place. Mm -hmm. So, okay, what time is it? Almost over. We got eight minutes. <laughs> so, I'm just going to go ahead and lighten up my drawing and ink it real quick. So, who's guys... Bonzi? That's my friend Esteban. Hi, Esteban. I don't know if he has a mic or not, or if it's working at the moment, but glad you could drop in, see how it works. Sorry you missed most of the class, but we'll be meeting again Friday, Friday. at 4, yeah. and Friday also at 5. Oh, does your mic work? Yeah, I can hear you. Hi. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 that was me. I think okay, that was it was. Yeah. That's... <laughs> I made you jump? A little bit. Was that, was that you again? You said, your voice sounds so different. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. So uh, what kind of pen are you using? Is that a brush pen? This one is a Japanese one. So it's Kotatake. It's a, like a brush, tiny, tiny brush point. So it's a little so bit flexible. Get some, so 
So I can get better. thin and then I can get thicker and then I can get thinner again. Yeah, nice. But mostly I just stick it on the side when I want to. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, I love these pens. How long did it take you to get used to using it? Uh, maybe three or four drawings. I kind of feel like if uh, you want to switch over to brush style inking, start with the pens. Right now I'm taking a course on inking with a brush and it's difficult. <laughs> it's <really laughs> difficult. Like I know Frank does a lot of inking with uh, brush, but and I don't know how he keeps it under control because once you just mess up one part, it's kind yeah. of over. You but have to have a very light have like hand. A, yeah, these tend to have a firmer tip, so you don't have to have as much control as with a brush. But I really like the line variation of brush inking. It reminds me of, um, what's that comic called? Bones? Yeah, it's like that. By the way, my poles are going to be wobbly, but that's all right. That's all right. They look hand drawn that way. I, yeah. I sort of like that look, as long as it's consistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, by the way, have you ever read Bones and is it worth reading? I have never read Bones. I've only seen excerpts used in like how to draw comic books and we'll use that one as a reference a lot but i have never actually read it yeah i've heard a lot of people say oh it's one of the best comic books out there you have to read it or it's like oh it's one of it's my favorite comic book and stuff like that huh. i don't know you have to read it and see the one i hear a lot about too is um what is it something black but it's kind of like a cat. No, it's uh, I think it's American. But it has like anthro cats, and I think he's a detective or something like that. Oh, I think I've heard of that. I've heard people say Black good cat thing. or something like that. Yes, yeah, something, something, something. I don't know I could probably look up cat detective comic, and I'd probably find something. Yeah, but that one's yeah. been for quite a while. I've seen like pictures of it. It's really impressive. The only thing I keep hearing people say about it is like, like um, like the dudes are drawn real animally, but then it's like the ladies are drawn like human ladies with like some. Oh yeah, we're used to that. <laughs> yeah. But otherwise, yeah, it's like the art is really good, from what I've seen. I haven't read it though. Probably should though. So I'm not going to add this stone texture everywhere since I don't have time for that, but maybe you just put it in kind of like patches yeah. here and there. So enough that people believe the whole thing is that texture. Yeah, it looks nice. Thank you. So what did you guys end up doing for your story art? I think I, I showed you guys think about it. it. You'll think about it. Okay. Yeah, I know you like to work kind of on your own, Kristen, when it comes to the story art. <laughs> well, I just, you know, I listen to you and I think all your ideas are great, but I'm not having any of my own. And then later I go, well, I, I can have an idea too. <laughs> but it takes time. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it does take a little bit of time, which is fine. That'll, that'll be one of my goals faster ideas, but it takes practice. I know you read a lot of books and watch a lot of movies and really it feel like an artist. Just things I've seen in movies and books and none of these ideas are mine. <laughs> well, you know, it's very helpful for you to say that. that okay, that, there's a place to look <laughs> yeah, in, in my mind, but I there are places in there that I never look. I don't think of that as, as of course, that they're all available. 627. Any questions I can answer for you guys? Well, you are as you're uh, drawing, so. 
If not, I think we're about out of time for today. Yeah. Well, back Friday. I'll see you then. Yep. Yeah. I'm looking forward to Friday. Okay. Maybe cool. Esteban yeah. will come and turn it. Does he have a camera or is he going to be another black space? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Okay, right, well, thank you so much. Yep, thank you guys. See you. All right, see you. Bye. <laughs>